In this video, you will see how to run a test transaction on Shopify POS. So once you set up your POS account, enter into your homepage, go to menu. So you can see the location you are logged into and then select settings and select payment settings. You will see different payment settings. For example, we are choosing payment setting in cash. Make sure to enable accept cash payments. Once the cash is accepted as the payment type, we can run the test transaction. So you need a new cash tracking section. For this, go to menu, select register and select start tracking section. Enter the amount of cash and select confirm. And now you need to add a product to the card. So go to menu and select product. And you can see different products. You can search for a particular product. Now select the product you need and add the product to cart. And now we need a new customer. So for that, go to the home page, select more actions, select add customer and add new customer. Since it's a test transaction, you can add your details. So add the details of the customer. In this case, your details. So after entering the personal details, make sure that you provide a valid email and now select checkout, choose the payment method. So here we choose cash as the payment method. You can see the total amount on the top of the page. Select email received after that and select send. You can add a note since it's a test transaction. You can signify that after that select done to complete the transaction. You'll receive the receipt in the mail. So the test order you process will be on top of the list. If you don't see it, make sure that the POS is enabled on the sales type and also make sure that the particular location you applied is selected in the sales location. Select the order and you'll be able to see the details of the transaction like the receipt and the note you added. To complete the transaction, you need to close the register. You can also note that it is not necessary to close the register after every transaction. So in order to close the transaction, go to menu, select register, tap on view open section. You can see the expected cash and the received cash. Uh, make sure to note the total cash. After that, select end tracking section. And here you need to enter the total cash that we noted earlier. Select next and you can enter the amount to leave in the drawer. Since we have not received any cash, you can enter the expected cash balance, which is noted earlier. Select confirm and tap done to finish the entire transaction. Thank you.